is uh, uh, Professor David Obibile. Thank you, sir. So I want to thank uh, CBCIU for this uh, wonderful opportunity that you accorded me to give this presentation. So uh, what I'm going to do briefly is I'm going to spend just about uh, seven, eight minutes to address this issue because I know that uh, time is well, uh, we are too much behind schedule. Now, looking at the end of this particular colloquium, Osho, Osho go across the Atlantic towards preservation and sustainability of Nigeria's intangible cultural heritage. As for my various uh, you know, activities on Osho, Osho go, I try to identify, that, uh, identify an issue which I title Beauty, Power, and the Essential Ocean. Beauty, Power, and the Essential Ocean. And uh, what I'm going to do is to tease out a few things and to also raise important questions which I will address in my paper because I will not uh, permit us to discuss all those now. Now, uh, a lot has been said, you know, on some of the aspects or the attributes of a show as a person. But let me just make this uh, point that uh, Oshun has this appetite, you know, existence, which of course made it possible for the huge patronage that people give unto her, for which they could properly harness the resources it will really advance a lot of values, both economic, you know, and uh, the social, another aspect of, uh, you know, development in Nigeria. Uh, people have been citing Ugo Shetua, which is particularly, you know, the Ugo Oshun. And uh, like I've said, I'm not going into that for now, but most importantly, when we look at those aspects of uh, preservation, we know that certain attributes or characteristics of Oshun Oshobo, I will identify the artistic values, which are the verbal and visual arts. The verbal and visual arts have been a source of importance if we want to really, really understand the issue of preservation and sustainability. And the second is the performative aspect of function. And uh, this performative aspect, either in dancing, in music, and several other areas, they are very, very important, you know, resources that we can preserve and, uh, you know, and, and uh, use and rest for possible sustainability and uh, you know one thing that privilege of show and particularly the festival that will help us in this preservation is the flexibility and flexibility of for sure for sure and of course which has spelled out in the beauty the aesthetics the reading let me quickly say that my study of Oshun Oshogo in Nigeria and uh, in the United States actually gave me this insight. Give me the insight into this area that I know that uh, preservation is very, very important. Like uh, we talk of the cultural aspect of uh, the, the preservation, which of course the people, the diaspora, we look at the two aspects of spirituality and the cultural. The question for us today, which I intend to pose, which I also intend to spell out in my paper, is number one. How do we address the state and government's involvement in the desecration and exploitation of cultural Chobo? This question becomes important because there are so many things that we have seen, you know, over the years now about what the state government and the government, the independent government is doing, you know, to get involved in the desecration and exploitation 
which we have to really, really address. Number two question is, what do we need to prepare for social work? Of what purpose? Who should be involved? How do we do it? Yes, we need to preserve it because it's our cultural heritage, like uh, the Mecca is to the Saudi Arabia, like, uh, you know, the Jerusalem pilgrimage is to the, you know, the Palestinian, or so, or so go is to the Africans. And without any doubt, not just to the Africans, but to the African diaspora. So this is very, very important. And number three point is to say, what do we, what do we do with the desecration of Ochochobo and Ochochobo River that is really, really endangering you know, this cultural artifact? Is it water pollution? Is it the mining industry that is going on in Nigeria? How do we deal with this? Now the question of the faith people, either the Islamic, uh, you know, fundamentalists and the Christian, uh, you know, fundamentalists, how do we address all of this that contributes so much in the desecration? So these are, these are important issues that, you know, we need to address. And uh, finally, I want to, you know, to pose to us that we need continuous maintenance of this Oshoshobo group. As uh, I have, you know, been studying this over the years, since 1993, and that's what I did my PhD, my doctoral thesis on. And of course, if you go to Oshoshobo, it's still now as a pilgrimage on one side and as a tourist center in another side. And so, if you are able to see, to look at, you know, these two important areas, the pilgrimage as a pilgrimage tradition and as a tourist center, I'm sure that we'll be able to look beyond what we are doing and we'll be able to not play a good bit and lip service to a show go, that we really have to do it very well. So I want, once again, I want to thank you very much and I hope that uh, the paper that will address some of these issues you know, we'll be ready uh, very soon. So thank you very much. Once again, the organizers, thank you.